Last year, second lady Karen Pence visited San Antonio to shine a light on a treatment near to her heart. Eyewitness News reporter Ashley Speller sat in on the program to take a deeper look into how it's helping children with cancer heal. 12 year old Damaris Ovalle loves to paint. It makes you feel, have fun, um, not worry about anything else. Damaris has acute myeloid leukemia, but is healing through help from her art therapist, Courtney Martin, at Methodist Children's Hospital. Okay. Those are going to be the scissors that have shapes. Is that okay? We see kids as young as two, pretty much if they can hold a pencil or hold a paintbrush, we're doing artwork. The requirements to become an art therapist are very similar to a mental health counselor. Really just incorporate art as a therapeutic tool within the counseling sessions. I like to paint. Children in the Tracy's Kids program use art therapy as a way to cope with the emotional stress and trauma of cancer and its treatment. Because it's anxious and all the mixed emotions and going through. Recently, Damaris received a bone marrow transplant from her four-year-old brother. I feel good every day. Dr. Manny Escaline also says he's seeing the benefits in his patients. It's a way to reduce anxiety without needing to use sedating medications, and I, I'm all about natural techniques and ways to try to alleviate some of these symptoms without having to medicate the kids. Damaris is doing well, and it's almost time to go home and get back to school. I'm going to seventh. Go to, oh, wow, already? Yeah, that's great. Are you excited? <laughs> Yeah. No. You, no. <laughs> she also wants to give a special yeah. shout out. <laughs> my, fa my family, I would like to say hi. Ashley Speller, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.